I've always been fascinated with the idea of artificial intelligence. I always wondered, what is the mechanism that people use in order to think so intelligently? My research is all about narrative, in particular the sort of intersection between storytelling and computers, and getting computers to be able to read stories, to be able to generate stories, and be able to use the knowledge in stories in order to become more intelligent. It's important for a computer to be able to uh, come up with narratives because there's so much data out there that it's actually it's very difficult for human eyes. We want to interpret data in the form of a story because that's the format that humans prefer. Well, all of my projects uh, involve narrative in the real world. We don't try to make up things ourselves. We actually try to listen to the stories that people actually tell uh, online or in in experiments that we run. One of my favorite projects is the Hyder Simmel Interactive Theater Project. It's based on a, a really interesting film that psychologist named uh, Fritz Heider and his student Marianne Simmel made back in the 1940s. It was just a, um, you know, a simple animated silent film of triangles moving around a scene with a circle uh, around a box that had an open door. And what uh, Fritz Heider would do is show this very simple animated video to his subjects, his students. And they would tell these amazing stories about, uh, you know, a love triangle between the characters or uh, a prison breakout or this sort of thing. And it was amazing that people could anthropomorphize these uh, triangles and treat them as if they were people. Uh, we started to wonder if we could get a computer to do the same thing. The end goal of the Heider Simmel Interactive Theater Project is for a computer to be able to come up with a rich narrative about how shapes are moving around. We actually have two sites. One's called uh, Triangle Charades, which is really focused on these low-level actions, the hurdles and the jumps and that sort of thing. And we have a second site called the Hyder Simmel Interactive Theater, which allows people to make their own movies. Every time that a person interacts with the system, we record these uh, motion trajectories along X, Y axis. We can treat the, their trajectory as a piece of training data for the system. We need a large amount of data from people. We're getting the computer to just detect low-level actions. Uh, we're really trying to solve a fundamental problem in human-computer interaction. Uh, the end goal for both of these sites is to collect enough data that we can both test and train our system to do a really good job of recognizing actions and narrating uh, longer sequences of actions into a coherent storyline. I'll personally be happy when we can get the computer to tell stories that are as creative and funny as the ones that people are telling on these websites.